Hello people of the world and welcome to Let's Play Cube World. So, Cube World is a game I downloaded a little while ago and it has been bugging me that I haven't been playing it since so I'm going to make a Let's Play video. Uh, this is very simply, this is a game, it's like Minecraft but you don't craft objects, you craft weapons and uh, what you call it? You just do stuff, and uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna start this off. Like I've already got this is my best character, and I might explain along the way exactly what you do in Cube World, and uh, I might actually get a new character to show exactly what you're supposed to do. And I just nearly killed myself. And I need to craft more health potions, apparently. So, you walk around, and there are these things. They can be hor they can any animals in particular. Any animals that you find, you can like destroy. You can also do uh, three, along with some special attacks. You're able to do. You can do uh, three, two main attacks. With me, it's slash and uh, jab. Hang on, I'll attack that squirrel. That squirrel is actually pretty talented. So, that was both of my main attacks. Main attacks can differ based on what you uh, your character is. Oh my gosh! So yeah, that is what happens if you die. You crumble into little pixels and then you respawn. I'm gonna get out this. This is a hang glider. You have to buy it at a town. And uh, when you buy it at a town, you press G to activate it and you hang glide through the lands of whatever you're playing on. Or in. See, there are those same wizards that just kill me, so I'm just gonna get the drop on them. G. Those are the same wizards that just killed me, but I'm at full health now, so let's do this thing. Ow. Okay, scratch that, I'm not at full health. Go! Yeah, four wizards is too difficult to figure what apparently. It is very difficult to fight wizards, apparently. I did not expect wizards to be that difficult. Especially for a guy like me. And a guy like me can usually take out wizards in like... Uh, okay, those are the same ones. So I'm gonna activate one of my special attacks. It is called Stealth. And Stealth, basically, no one can see you. And it charges up your special power. And I need to be very careful walking up to these guys. If you lose all your stealth, they'll be able to see you. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna come up behind them. Like, to a tree. Okay, activate stealth. Okay, and now for my special attack! See, that actually knocked one or two of them out. Oh, I got two of them. So, that's what happens if you're quick enough on your feet to defeat a wizard. Now, where did they go? Where is, uh, say, you... That's another thing that you hit. Hitting M will bring up a map of wherever you are. And if you do that, you can help navigate the world and you can go to places that you've already been. Hello? I think I see a wizard fire attack over here. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, 
Aha! Silver coin. So, silver coins, copper coins, gold coins. Gold coins are very hard to get. Uh, those are things that you get for killing plus something that they might drop. Flowers, you find them around the world and you get potions out of them. You can make potions out of them. That is a platypus. No, that is a duckbill. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, uh, hitting E, that's nothing, hitting B will bring out your backpack. And your backpack is what you keep all your stuff in, basically. You keep, like, weapons and, uh, all the stuff that you have left over. Then you can keep pets. I'm actually going to get out one of my pets right now. Which one do I want to get out? A raccoon. Raccoon is a very hard animal to tame. Blackberry marmalade, white chocolate bar, uh, I actually have a couple of things that I can use, but you, I can't use them right now, because this is not the right animal to use it with. So, let's kill it. And see, raccoon will help you fight. Any pet, practically, will help you fight. If you hit C, you bring up a crafting, uh, menu. And I need water flasks. I can craft 15 of those. So, uh, crafting, you can craft water flasks, flasks, which in turn will help you craft potions. And potions are very useful because you need them, like, a lot. I'm gonna make five right now. So, you have to hit the button, like, you have to hit the button each time you want to toggle the menu, or turn off the menu, in some cases. So, let's see, what am I gonna do? For the rest of this video, I'm just gonna wander around- Oh, can I ride my raccoon? I don't think I can. Ah, uh, uh... You can right click, I think you right click on an animal to ride it. And I can ride this. Yeah, I cannot ride a raccoon, so. Uh, jeez, okay. You hit R to ride, it'll bring up a menu saying R to ride an animal. A snout beetle. These are actually pretty hard to kill, so I'm gonna use one of my potions. Alright, let's go! Unless you have armor like I do, and and they are like some of the easiest things ever to kill. Of course, uh, things will attack your collie as well. They will attack your pup as well, and they will uh, they can kill you if you're not careful around them. And see, it's barely doing any damage to me. Partly because I have some of the most awesome armor ever, and that is armor that I'm going to take. See, some stuff will drop, and it'll be, uh, some stuff will drop, and it, like, makes no sense, but you need it, so you take it anyway. That is a dagger. That's another thing I can use, but I have to go to a class trainer in order to learn to use it. Or do I? I think it might be, like... Uh, so, yeah, if you run into the side of a cliff while you're hang gliding, you will, uh, lose, like, your momentum. But, I can take out plants practically one hit, and that's weird. The best strategy in this game, walk in one direction continuously until you find something that you can do. That's pretty much the best possible thing you can do. Ooh, I thought I was gonna, like, hit that could be. Uh, there are also caves that you can find. That is not one of the ones I'm talking about. But, uh, you find these caves, and when you do... Oh, crap, I have to wait. But, yeah, when you do... You, uh, grab ores out of them. I'm gonna put 
her away. So I'm going to climb up this mountain now. We, you press Control to climb. G to hang glide. I think I already said space to jump. Wazd to move. Uh, mouse key for direct mouse mouse key. Huh. Uh, mouse buttons are attack. Whoa. Uh, mouse buttons are attack. Um, let's see. What else is there? Uh, buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4 are your special attacks. Ooh, plus 60 cut and chest armor actually might be useful to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's actually pretty useful. Uh, let's see. Iron boots, iron gloves, those are both for warriors. Oh, and that's another thing about this. Uh, that's another thing about this. If you find something, but it doesn't belong to your class, you can take it, but you can't, like, uh, do anything with it. I thought I had some, uh, a food for this. I thought I did. Strawberry cocktail? No. Uh, the chocolate cookie is for a brown llama. That sounds stupid, but it's actually true. Blackberry marmalade, I don't know what that's used for. I'll have to check the wiki later. And all these are foods that you just use on random animals. I, since, okay, now I, I guess it would be a good time to talk about levels of attack. That has blue letters. The letters of a mob's name will tell you how much attack it can do to you, how much damage it does to you in one go. Uh, if it has blue letters, it's moderate to, it's moderately easy to take down. If it has white letters, you can take it down pretty much in, like, uh, oh, I don't know, one second. If it has orange letters, it is very hard to defeat. If it has red letters, do not attack it at all, because it is pretty much impossible for you to defeat. Um, what else? There are a couple others. Oh, a solo frogman, you should go up against me. Uh, if it has, okay, so that has white letters, that means it's pretty easy to take down. But that also means it is a pretty high level, in, but it is, but also means it is a pretty low level in relation to you. Which means that if you, which means if you get, if you encounter one of these animals, uh, it is best to tame it when it has a really high level compared to you, because it'll have a much higher level. Um, and groups are just easier ways to get, like, XP. It's not much. I'm just gonna keep going west, and I might edit this to be shorter, so... Uh, you see those things? Right there? Yeah. Those are the stupidest creatures in this game. Uh, there are actually two types of them. Three types of them. There are, there are these, the radishlings, and they're made out of radishes. Oops. I cannot carry any more radish slices, apparently. Uh... They are called radishlings, you fight them and they drop radish slices. And sometimes they will drop food and armor. These are also pretty stupid, they're alpacas. You can tame them, but they're not that good to tame unless you're very early into the game. Uh, but yeah, radishlings are stupid. This is a pretty cool thing to witness in the wild. These, this... I forgot to tell you about the health bars of animals. 
If the health bar of an animal is green, that means it is friendly. It will not try to hurt you. You can tame it very easily. It is... Ah, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, green means they're very easy to tame. Uh, if it has a red health bar, it is a hostile mob. You should not try to go after it if you're very early or if you don't have the right weapon. Um, again, it goes along with if you have a mob with red lettering and a red bar, you shouldn't even go near it because it'll attack you immediately. This, I don't know what this is, because this looks like something else I can talk about, but I'm not entirely sure, because these things can get very confusing. They blend together after a little while. Uh, there are... Mm, I'll save it for later in the video. No, this isn't anything. Okay, I was just... Uh, starting to get my hopes up there. This isn't anything at all, it's just a place. It's just a random formation on the map. Ooh, that is a human. If they have a blue health bar, they are tame. Or that... I think your health bar is blue, but if... Your health... But if... A mob has a blue health bar, then it is tamed already. You... It is tamed already. You cannot attack it at all, and they will not try to attack you. Um, yeah, I'm just going to walk a little more. And I'm still walking. Now, I forgot to mention that if you click the menu key, or whatever, which I'm going to climb up this mountain before I tell you. Yeah, if you click the menu key, you can walk in the me in the map screen. You can walk in the map... Oh, plane runner. Oh, dear. Okay, so I'm just going to run from this plane runner towards this dungeon. It lost interest. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run towards this dungeon that I keep flashing off the screen. If you see my cursor right there, those cross swords means that there is a dungeon or a legendary area nearby. And legendary areas are always a good thing to find. Because they hold some pretty good stuff if they are like blue letter areas have blue letters, white letters, red letters, or whatever too. And if you find like a blue letter or a if you find like a blue letter uh dungeon, then it is a pretty good dungeon to go toward because it has stuff that you can use. I mean Bark beetles. They are... There are several, actually, several types of beetles in this game. Ooh, plus 61 leftovers. Those are good leftovers. Leftovers you get from random mobs. Uh, you get leftovers through fighting them, and if you fight them enough... I'm gonna show, uh, if you fight them enough, you can get leftovers, and leftovers are things that you have to pay for an identifier at a, at a town and they will identify it for you and you can use it depending on what it is. So I'm going to show you another one of my special attacks on this group right here. It's called the Shuriken Throw, and it is one of the most amazing attacks I've ever seen. And I... Ah, uh, this... Yeah. They... Not only can you use potions, but if you're not careful enough, they will use potions on ye They will use potions, too. They're cheaters like that. Uh, iron gloves, those are for that, so I'm not going to pick that up just yet. Or, I might not pick it up at all. So, where was I headed? A dungeon. Which is, yeah, I'm headed towards it. Oh, and also... 
you have a special item that you plus G for, you can either switch between a wooden hang glider and a wooden boat. I have not found another thing that you can use yet, but I'm pretty sure there might not even be one. Another thing that you can use, so... Holy crap! Son of a... Ah. Another thing you can do is these bombs. They will explode and damage people. But if you hit a bomb, it explodes in your face, and you have to like take a lot of damage too. Which I am almost dead now, and that. And see, the health bar on a bomb is gray because it practically uh. A health bar on a bomb is gray because it's a timer. A ticking time bomb. I need a whole bunch more health potions, apparently. I can craft them, like, right now, actually, if I have I can craft ten of them. And I need, like, ten of them if I'm gonna go any further. And... that's... done. Okay, I need more water flasks. I need a whole bunch more water flasks. Uh, so, I'm still heading towards that dungeon, I think, so let's continue onward. Okay, so apparently, I was, um, playing, not playing, I was, uh, doing something AFK, and while I was, it turned to nighttime. So now I can show you what the feature of a lamp is. This lamp is you hit F to activate or deactivate it. And a stupid freaking onionling. Ooh. Anyway, a stupid no. <laughs> uh what was I gonna say? There was something I was going to say. Don't know what it was now. But, um, whenever you hit F, yeah, whenever you hit F, you turn on the flashlight. Well, turn off the, okay. Campfires are very useful because they light you up the area without having to, like, something without having to turn on your flashlight which is always a good thing uh, I'm so confused right now okay so apparently I'm very close to the place now I hear a werewolf somewhere what the frick Slendy? no I'm just kidding if Slenderman was in this game, I would be dead. Like, a million times dead. Uh, so. Ginseng. Ginseng, if you use ginseng, if you hit ginseng, it turns into ginseng roots, which you then can turn into ginseng soup, which is basically a potion, but not a potion. Mushroom spits are a type of food you can eat, and they bring up your health, but they bring up your health much slower than you normally would. So I'm very close to that area now, and apparently it is not a dungeon, it is a hill, a forest of some sort. And that is water, okay. Yes. The boss battle is right around here somewhere. Defeat... Okay, this is a separate boss battle than other boss battles. This is like 
one of the main bosses you can face in this game. Turn off your flashlight and turn off. Oh crap. But yeah, I can practically walk around on number two all day with this. So, this is a troll. It is one of the things you can encounter that you do not necessarily encounter in an area. Like, you encounter them separately than anything else. Wait for the right moment. And go! So this is a troll. You fight a troll separately than anything else. And trolls are relatively easy to beat whenever you're at a level such as I am. Oh, come on. I have to get the high ground on this guy. Oh, that's part of the problem. I didn't have my flashlight on. My... One thing... Ah, one thing that you can normally do... Whoopsies. Ah, missed. I missed. Okay, I'm running away. Two. Stealth. Okay, this guy still knows I'm here. Okay. Oh my gosh! You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Changing back to life potions. Uh, I'm eating a piece of cake and it's amazing, so... As he drinks these life potions, I'm gonna eat this cake. Mm, okay, now. Where was I? Oh yeah. I was about to... Defeat the troll. Who is... Now back to full health. And what I normally do in this situation is I press all, th both the space bar, the mouse 1 and mouse 2 all at the same time. Because if you do, you can stay above him. And staying above him is always a good thing. Because some of his main attacks will then not be able to hit you. Aha! Defeat the troll. I defeated the troll. So now, I got some crappy stuff because he was a white letter troll. A white letter troll is, all, is not necessarily a, the best troll to fight because they hold absolute crap. But yeah, that's what you do in a battle like that. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Uh, I guess that's about- whoops. I guess that's about it for this video, so I guess I'll see you all later. Good! Climb up to the top of this mountain, and while I'm still saying good, bye!